Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on uh, on Layer Zero, the most bullish crypto right now. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually true, but if you look at the last 24 hours, it's uh, it's, it's definitely up there. It is. Uh, it's it's not in the top 100. I might be missing something here in in terms of market cap. It isn't. I'm not sure. It's up 12 percent. No, it's actually 125 in, in rank. But no, it's up 12%. Zero is still gaining a ton of momentum. We're nearing some major resistance levels right here. The last time I covered this, two days ago, what I said is that, all right, well, the main resistance level is 3.7, 3.8. If we're able to break above that, next target is 4.5. I would say so far I've been correct. We haven't reached 4.5 yet. Um, but the breakout right here... Above 3.7, I would say, was crucial. Uh, that was also one of the key resistance levels at the launch. It's the 3A2 FIP of this entire move down from the from the spike up down to the down to the down to the local uh, bottom for now. Uh, so yeah, broke above that, respected that. So now we are bullish, even though the markets are not doing great. Uh, so just wanted to talk about that. Wanted to talk about what's going on. Wanted to talk about uh, what's possible, etc. All right. So let's get right into it. So there are some things going on with layer zero, which which are relatively bullish, uh, right? With the, with the tokenomics and, and what they're doing, etc. I already said the last time around, you could argue that this valuation, this market cap is relatively low. And then apart from that, just if, if we're being very, very practical, we know that layer zero has received a ton of funding, a ton of investments, right? by the likes of uh, Andreessen and Horowitz, uh, Sequoia, Circle, raised $120 million. So look, these parties, these institutions will definitely make sure that the price doesn't drop down to zero. All right. So what they usually do is they employ some sort of a market maker uh, who enables the price to get into some price discovery. So I think that plays a part as well. And that's also why, even though these market circumstances are not great, zero is still doing is still doing fine and that's also like like whether it's by market makers whether it's real whether it's by tokenomics it doesn't really matter what matters is that it's it's really happening right this is really the price and what you can see at, at the same point of time if we look at some uh, if we look at some order flow which i think is always very important that there, there is real momentum all right since uh, when was this the, the 30th of june we have really started to rally right and you can see that we have these uh, big position openings uh, also in in the last eight hours with a positive cvd so a ton of people are opening long positions on layer zero right now and for me there's not really anything that tells me that it's going to stop i do think that i mean at some point of time this is going to stop right um, in, in these market circumstances, there's not enough money around to, to keep pumping this forever. But for now, I, I would assume that we're going up to 4.4. I think 4.4, 4.5 is the next main resistance level. And if we're able to break above that, I would honestly say that psychologically, $5 is a big price target. Um, but historically, when you look at new, new cryptos, they always try to take out the wig. Um, so I would say the next price target is 4.4, 4.5. I expect us to get up there. I expect us to find resistance there. But if we're able to break above that after finding resistance, 5.5 5 .5 would be my next price target. So we'll have to see what happens. All right. We, we, still, have to, we still have to get there. First of all, we have to, to see the reaction. I do see right now that there's a major divergence forming between the price and the RSI. So at some point of time, I do think zero is going to drop drop down. And that's also what I'm looking at mostly for some short opportunities. But it's um, there's no indication of that right now. All right. Even though the price is going up and the RSI is going down, the open interest is still going up. All right. And open interest and RSI are both measures to, to uh, measure momentum, I would say. So even though the RSI says the momentum is dropping down, real orders being opened tell a different story. So for now, most likely, I, I still think is something like this. But that, uh, but that move up to 5.5 is very risky. That's definitely not guaranteed. And personally, I'm waiting for a big bearish breakout below $4 or below 3.7 uh, for a potential short entry. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.